What's up you guys? It's me, it's Count, here with another Pokemon Go video. Today I'm going to be giving you a comprehensive guide to the new raid boss, the Alga. This is a very powerful Pokemon, one that I do not think you should ignore, mainly because he has a lot of great implications for PvP. He has a very strong type combination, and just in general, this is a really awesome Pokemon. It's one of Gen 4's best, so definitely go and pick up this Pokemon, follow this guide, and if you end up enjoying it, smash that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. Without further ado, let's get right into the guide. Alright, so let's talk about Dialga. So Dialga is a Steel and Dragon type legendary Pokemon and this is important because Steel and Dragon type do complement each other really well, which means Dialga is going to have a lot of great implications for PvP as well as future raid battles, so you do not want to miss out on this Pokemon. I really suggest you try and pick up a really nice Dialga, mainly because this type combination is extremely unique, and when it comes to PvP, type advantage is key, so you really want to get this Pokemon. It's extremely versatile, and it's going to be extremely useful, and its stats and its moves are actually pretty decent, which I'm going to get into right now. In terms of his stats, he does have a great amount of attack. It may not necessarily be top tier, but it is a substantial amount. It's enough for it to become a very relevant Pokemon in PvP. He also has a good amount of HP and defense as well. He has 205 HP, he has 211 defense, and of course his attack stat is at 275. This is pretty important because the Alga has pretty much some well-rounded stats, which is going to be important for PvP. At 100% IVs, his catch CP is going to be 2307, and if he's weather boosted, he's going to be at 2884, which is pretty high for a typical Pokemon that you get from raids. Dialga is weather boosted by snowy and windy weather, which is pretty rare for certain areas, but if you are lucky enough to get these weather boosts, I really suggest you go out and raid as much as you can. Now since Dialga has two complementary types, steel and dragon, he's only weak to two types, and that is ground and fighting, which means if you have some really strong fighting types and a really strong ground type, it's going to take you really far against this Pokemon. I really suggest you take as many Machamp as you possibly can. Of course, Machamp with Counter and Dynamic Punch is the absolute king of fighting types. Having six maxed out Machamps with these moves can actually be enough for you to just destroy this Pokemon. And of course, Groudon with Mudshot and Earthquake is also a great choice. Have a team of mostly ground types just in case Dialga has Thunder. This is something you want to watch out for if you have Machamps. And there's also plenty of other great Pokemon that you can take if you don't have Machamps and Groudons. Rhyperior is also pretty decent as a ground type, but I really suggest you look into Hariyamas, Breloom's, Lucario's, Toxicroaks, and a lot of other fighting types that can learn Counter and Dynamic Punch. Dialga is going to be available from March 1st all the way to March 28th, so you have plenty of time to pick up a really nice Dialga, but I really suggest you do not go lazy on this Pokemon. This is a type combination that you do not want to miss out on, so you definitely want to go and pick up a really nice Dialga. You have plenty of time to do so. I really suggest you go out and raid, especially now that the weather is getting nicer in some areas. This is a great opportunity for you to get a really powerful legendary. And finally, in terms of how difficult he is as a raid boss, I really suggest you bring at least four to five people at the bare minimum. But if you want a very secure victory, you could bring about seven to eight. He does have pretty high defense stats, but he is very easily defeatable with a full team of Machamps or Groudons. So do keep that in mind. Well, there you have it, folks. This is my comprehensive guide for Dialga. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If there's a key piece of information that I left out, make sure you say so in the comment section so that we're all informed. And yeah, if you ended up enjoying this video, smash that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And I am Count Jinsula, and I'll catch you all later.